one. In light of what we've seen about Jesus Christ, remember that he is worthy of your worship. Your response, Christian, should be the same as John's. You ought to find yourself overwhelmed as we study this, as we, as we think about this, as we meditate on him. You ought to find yourself just bursting out like John. To him be the glory he deserves. To him be the, the dominion, the right to rule forever. He's worthy of it. I love that song. Is he worthy? Is he worthy of this? Yes, he is. This also reminds us that he's worthy of our trust. I mean, look at what we've just studied together about Jesus Christ. Folks, he is worthy of your trust. He's worthy of your trust for managing your life today. If he can do all of this, if he is all of this, then just relax and trust him. He can manage your life. He's worthy of your trust when it comes to your eternal salvation. He's promised. He's the faithful witness. He said, truly, the one who hears my words and believes in him who sent me has eternal life, and he will never perish. He's worthy of your trust when it comes to the promises of salvation. He's worthy of your trust when it comes to death itself. He's worthy of your trust when it comes to your eternal future. And, folks, he is worthy of your trust when it comes to what's going to unfold on this planet. So stop worrying. Your Lord is the ruler of the kings of the earth. Instead, worship.